He's old school, so what? He likes a fag and a pint and a ruck if he's rubbed up the wrong way. Stan Turnant, dinosaur boss or just the man for a fight? It's been a hard life in football and the latest may be the last chapter. It won't be any picnic. Why did you get the job, do you think? Because I'm good at what I do, probably. Come on! Well done, guys. Why did you part company with Burnley? Because the chairman decided he wanted to change things. Did he want a younger manager? I don't know. You'd have to ask him that question. He's got a one. It's not always the household name that is actually the favourite, in my view. It's the person that I believe has got, get, will give us the best chance of getting out the difficulties we're in at the moment. Uh, and in my view, Stan Turner was exactly that man. Sorry, I should have switched that off. Did you get fined for that? No, I make the rules. <laughs> I think we're mad to get him. Yeah, his cameras are following me around the place. I can't think why. He's never managed down south or in the top division, but in all his years on the breadline, Stan's never been relegated. He's a specialist in the salvage operation business, and Gillingham, to be blunt, need a Stan the Man makeover. I don't think he'll take any rubbish. You know, I, I do honestly believe he'll get the best out of the team. I do really. Well, I'll just go him and then he wants to When you walked into Burnley, you said uh, within a week I knew our team was crap. Mm -hmm. Here. No, this is pretty decent. And, uh, they will handle your pace, son. What handle your pace? Nice and bright. People don't mess with him. People understand where he's coming from. And uh, already the atmosphere in the club has, has changed slightly. <laughs> Financially, I don't need to do it. I enjoy it. So where would keeping Gillingham up rank then? High. They're massive. Really good. That's a challenge. The welcoming committee was warm. In the dark days at Burnley, Stan once sprinkled holy water in the dugout and on the pitch. The team went 11 games unbeaten. On his new patch, there's no need for such drastic divine intervention. Yet. But the honeymoon ended if Gillingham didn't beat Rotherham, the only side below them in the championship. Barry Ashby's shot onto a post was the highlight of the first half, along with Stan's semaphore. At times, he looked lost in translation, wondering what he'd let himself in for. Rocky, go on, son. Go on. But H has only sharpened Stan's edge. Gillingham were honest and hungry. Just when some, not Stan, were calling time on the honeymoon, Chris Hope headed in. The glory game returned to Gillingham. Relieved at finally nudging in front and finally putting a smile on Stan's face, the boys in blue seize their moment. Substitute Matt Jarvis brought three vital points within touching distance. Now they were all believers in that old fella with a funny accent. He's obviously done something to keep the club fighting away, and now we've got three points at home, which is a definite start. Job done, not quite. With two minutes left, Will Hoskins lobbed in. Then, amazingly, Rotherham scored again at the other end. Paolo Vanazza somehow contrived to beat his own keeper. Maybe Stan has been sprinkling that holy water around Priestfield. Stan didn't overdo it. There will be much harder tests than Rotherham. But this odd couple, Gillingham and their friend from the north, like what they've seen so far. You feel you're back in the right place, that touchline? Yeah, it's OK. When you win, it's OK. Rotherham are now nine points adrift at the bottom after their late defeat at Gillingham, who move level on points with Forest. Coventry's win over Watford lifts them up a place. Preston move up two places to 14th after beating West Ham.